Ecclesiastes 8 9. All this have I seen and applied to my heart. To every work that is done under the sun, there is a time wherein one man rules and another to hurt him. You know, everything has its time. Um, certain things that happen in amount of time isn't easy. And certain things are a blessing. But there's time for blessing and there's time for hurt. They both happen as a part of life. Okay, Judges 6, 7 through 10. Judges 6, 7 through 10. Um, well, I can get there. Technical difficulties. Okay, I got it this time. Judges 6, 7 through 10. And when the sons of Israel cried to the Lord about the Midianites, so they cried out to God. Um, God was the last that they actually went to. And oftentimes that's the case with us. When, in fact, needs to be the first we go to. And... So they cried out to him. And oftentimes, God always hears our prayer. He always hears our cry. Uh, the way he reacts oftentimes may vary. Um, so verse 8. We see how he reacts. The Lord sent a prophet to the sons of Israel. And he said to them, Says the Lord God of... Says Israel God's... The Lord God... Israel's Lord God. I brought you out of the from the slave quarter. So God's now reminding them of what he did for them. And this is as a people, not them particularly. Because this is a generation later. But they still should have known who God was because of what he did. And this is why he's bringing up. You knew I did this to you people. Why is more what is going across. And oftentimes we forget what God has done for us or who, what God has done, period. And the stories in Scripture, the Scripture of what He's done, should inspire us more to serve Him, even though it ain't us particularly that He does this, this through. If we truly believe in Scripture, Him saving men like David and making Him king should inspire us to further serve God. And just as Him taking Israel out of slavery and bringing them this land should have inspired them to further serve God. Verse 9, And delivered you out of the hands of all your oppressors, and drove them out before you, and gave you their country. So the oppressors are the people that were settled in that land. God allowed them to conquer this land through Joshua. Um, now, we see oftentimes after Joshua, they would allow the people to... We see that in the opening books of Judges. Book of Judges where they just allow people to, instead of driving them out, and sometimes they actually are themselves hide in that land, or they're driven out from that land. But it's referring to Moses, and now Joshua, and now referring, next verse will be what they actually did. And I said to you, I am your Lord, God and Lord God, you shall not fear the gods of the Amorites in whose country you are settling. And you did not obey me. So what he's saying is, I told you, do not turn to them false gods of the Amorites. This is one of the reasons why he wanted them to drive out these people. But they were neglected of that. And then he was, don't turn to these gods. And then they were neglectful of that. Oftentimes, the reason why we cry out to God the most is because we neglect what He's already told us to do. 
and we're in a place where we're broken and bitter broken because of our own sin and result 